Now today we've got Keenan as our model. Uh, Keenan looking to grow his hair to this kind of same length. So at the moment he has very long on the top and definitely the length is getting to be look like a little bit disconnected. So we're gonna gradually make a graduation on the side, take slightly length from the both side there, create a little bit in the back as well, taking the weight out. We're gonna make both sides kind of gradual on the, so it's not gonna be as a fall down as a mushroom away. As we can look at it, we're gonna work on the sideburns, taper the sideburns, take slightly thickness out from the side, fade the back completely, and fade both sides from this side and that side as well. But we're gonna take a little bit length from the top. I'm not gonna use scissors for the top, I'm gonna use the blade that we are She's gonna use the, that blade for his top hair to make a nice graduation. Okay, so today I'm gonna work with this blade when I'm gonna use the top, when we're gonna cut the top here. But on the sides, I'm gonna start with the razor over comb. So we're gonna use with the machine over comb. I wanna taper that and wanna control my, my thickness on the side there. Obviously gonna taper the back as well, as maximum as I can. Use overcome. Most of the works will be overcome. When I start using the guards, I will be obviously explain what guards I'm using. But because he wants to grow his hair and we wanna give it a nice shape and it doesn't be look wild as the way it is now. Now I'm gonna use two combs. So one is a big comb for the tapered and control the line over these parts. I use the thin comb for to make a taper on the sideburns to give a nice fade to take shorter and to get into the, my longer parts. Okay, and same is gonna be in the back. I'm gonna use both combs today. So one is a big comb that it will easily give me nice tapers and control the length obviously you understand with this comb it's very hard to go too short you normally can go on the nice length with this you can really can go tighter even up to the zero lines so once we're gonna start fading we overcome and then we move up to the top to work with our a razor today on the top so we're not gonna use scissors we're gonna use our razor on the top we obviously need to concentrate on this line here because the shorter we're gonna go is more it will stick out but we obviously understand our client wants to today to grow the hair and we need to make sure that we're not gonna go too short. So I divide this part to make sure that I can see where the start to sticks out. And this hair it's, looks like if it will go shorter, we'll start go more up. So we definitely don't wanna go too high with that. So we're gonna start from this point there. Now I'm using just clipper overcome. I bring my comb obviously the direction forward to the length and that's the way I come into the closer parts whereas I don't want to touch the length. So I'm starting from here and bring it up up to here. Okay. see we fade it up to the guard line 
that is there so if you wanna go a bit shorter here the hair will start sticks out so that's what we don't want to do and we continuum controller comb not to go any higher but nice graduation now we're gonna move into the neckline I'm gonna leave that at the moment as I wanna taper the back first so Yeah, we slightly got the tapered now on the back. We obviously will go really, really zero here. So this zero will be touching there and then we will fade up. Now the reason we're not using the guards as the guards will be hard to combinate what guard do we need. So with the overcome is a benefits that some points is very thick and some points is very thin so we need to control our points that we can blend it softly because if you use the blade too we might take too much and then we need to go higher and higher if you use blade three it might be too long and then we need to go down with the other guards but over the comb we can have control over the length that we're looking for so I'm gonna use my half line, half guard, just to taper the neck and then graduate it up. Okay, so I'm doing half and flick it straight away. I'm gonna use zero now. Now we're gonna move over this side and we're gonna do it the same exactly that we have over this side, trying to control the longer part and obviously fade it a little bit there. We will go slightly shorter more over here, so initially kind of fade it up from kind of zero into a half into a one, but not too high. And then we're gonna create the lines there. So I'm gonna move to the other side now I'm gonna separate my line again just to make sure that we're not taking too much my comb is obviously working aside that direction so we need to take more on the bottom keep the length on the, on the top the higher we go we're more keeping length so we're just graduating the sirens gonna move into our smaller comb just trying to work out on my sideburns there to make them short as possible kind of fade it up just use my half to fade up the sideburns a bit and blend them over As you can see, going very tight over the sirens. Now we're gonna move over the other side. Just okay, we're gonna move to this side there. Yeah, we finished that part, so we're gonna move with the detailer 
to create the lines there all the way around make this make sure that we got the right line there as we said we're gonna go straight again so probably will be like that and then I'll show you this back there so clean up with the detailer around here and also moving down to our other side so detailer create the sideburns Now as you can see we tapered the neck, nicely tapered the sirens from both sides, there you go, there's the other side, concentrate on nine. Now we need to concentrate on this graduation there. I will use the thin scissors over this part just to make sure that I take it, make it nice and softer and it's not sticks out. And I will do that exactly the same over this side just to make sure that the thickness is not going to be sticks out too much even after it will grow after a week or two. So I'm going to grab thin scissors now. actually divide these points there now using my tennis scissors just use the tips of the hair yeah got that slightly softer look just a thickness of it And then we move to this direction there. And that's as you can see, slightly thicker pairs. We just touch the tips of the hair. We're not even thinning the hair, just give the sh soft shape. Now yeah, after finish, over the side there are blending from half into the one, one and a half, two, three, four, maybe because we did over the comb so to control the length and we don't have too much taken off on this part as he's trying to grow the hair. We save the straight line on the neckline that will give us option when the person moves the head and it's always keep our line straight even if it moves the head like that, it keeps our line straight. So that's why we always keep straight line in the back. We're not going any other lines to be too much inside. Some, some people doesn't have shapes of the neck there and lots of people run too much inside. That will make the neck very narrow. So doesn't look nice either. So we save these lines straight, even if the people if it doesn't grow in these parts, we save the line straight there, so we don't going too much in. Now, as we receive all that tapers on the side, now we need to concentrate on our length on the top. As I said, I'm gonna use my. Now we're gonna use our blade for to make a nice graduation, and I'm gonna explain what we're gonna do with it. So. If we brush the hair, we're gonna split in the middle. I'm gonna twist the chair like that. So if we split our hair in the middle and we break down from both direction. So now I want you all see 
what we get there, right? So a lot of people coming with that kind of thing that they it's too much disconnection line and we want to give that nice soft connection. Why I choose this blade to use today? Because with that blade we're trying to give sideways so it will be go through to the from shorter from the back shorter into the longer to the front but we will go feathering so the line won't be so heavy and won't be long, look too much disconnected so I will go through that when we start cutting the hair and obviously we'll be going the back exactly the same we're gonna make a nice nice shape with this blade so we're gonna run the blade through to make a softer fell and coming through to that point as well we can see how much disconnected is so my point is to give this nice soft connection so when the person is brushing the hair back he doesn't need to use too much product to have very nice different lengths and once he use a little bit product or dry the hair back it won't be too much disconnected lines okay so we're gonna wet the hair first and then spray make a section in the middle and then we'll work out through every section so everybody can see what the way it should look like so spray the hair We can brush this down to make sure we're not gonna go any higher. Yeah, using the blade, we can all see how much hair it falls down, and we all can see where is the back point and where is the start point. So. To target which way you need to cut the hair and how much you need to take, I will recommend to see what's the length in the back. Obviously, to get the right length in the back, we understand this is our lower point and we want to graduate this point. So, let's start from this point first because that way we can find our guard line. I try to scoop not to go too much and scooping the hair just give the soft look and slowly going to the top going a bit higher and higher just to soft my lines not to be too heavy. And we're not taking too much, we're just initially taking the tips of the hair. But this razor will help us not to get straight lines and the hair will fall kind of gradually and without the thickness. So once we have done this part and we see the length is there, so we brush this length over through it here. So this is a short point and this is a long point. So let's take thinner, thinner length, thinner part, and move our fingers over the side, take our razor and just neatly going through like that. That will take the length off straight away. So if before we was working here, trying to slide it down the hair. So over here we're taking straight cuts. But obviously it's not gonna be straight because we feather them. So if you follow the line, the lines start falling down here and we keep the line over the side and get into the long point to the front 
that's what we get so then we bring it up and now we start sliding a little bit just to make it thinner and feathers so it's not going to be too heavy we don't want to do from here we're using on the mid length of the hair because this is the part where it fell the hair fell when it's dry so we want to give them nice and soft look so we get that kind of thin look we take a little bit more thickness out and now we usually follow the lines so touching the tips off we know we don't want to take too much length we just want to give nice shape to all this thickness and obviously be easy to grow the hair long so that's what we've got at the moment and we leave the front at the minute because we are gonna be working on our front a little bit different way so that's the way we've got here this side and that's the way we have this side so in the same way we grab the back line and we bring it forward there so if i move this direction here and I, let's divide this part a little bit thinner so we can all see what we're doing and then by this sliding technique we just bring the down and we're going over to the same the top line and we get the softer look a little bit more so we initially can bring all this here from the back into the from one side to the other side and just slide that down so if we brush it all through there see what we get and then I want to show you the front how long it's in the front and what we get in the front so it's kind of come as a triangle so if we can take this triangle on the tips and just touch the tips there we don't want to take any length of that because that will give nice style and we don't want to make this too short so I double check where is a more thicker where is a more thicker make it slightly thinner to kind of give that the same look in both directions now after finish all that after finish all that we can see how the line is there the thicker line is still there so we obviously don't want this line to be there we need to kind of soft it down So we still can use the the what's it called? The feather blade. The feather blade. You do it again? Yeah. Okay. To take this heavy line we're still using feather blade. To give that a little bit nice soft. We're not putting too much pressure on the blade, we just slide it down to make sure we're not taking too much. It's quite dangerous blade, so a little bit more pressure and you can take a big chunk of the hairs. As you can see there, slightly thickness falling down here so I can so I can use the blade just to touch up on that part if we brush our hair back to make sure 
if we get too much disconnected lines and how they fell down so we can see brushing through here we can see that this length is quite long so if we want to reduce a little bit length so we just touch it the tips of the hair so the whole point of all this feathering blade is just to give nice soft look that it doesn't make too big disconnected line for for our model that is trying to grow the hair longer you can bring that over the side this direction and just make sure that it's not too thick just slide slide them a little bit for to make sure that they are filling like a different lens it obviously won't be too heavy falling yeah with the scissors over comb I want to make sure that I take all the heavy parts and there's a gradually sits good and also I bring this part as well to make sure that we didn't miss anything We want to double check our length on the top that we didn't miss anything and our ends they're not too fine as well because obviously when the hair grows after a couple of weeks it might actually will be too thin on the tips of the hair so we just want to take this uneven ends off but we're not touching the shape of the feathering or from our blade Yeah, we're gonna use the cut rod for shaving the neck. So we're gonna finish our style with a sea salt spray. You think it's a lot? So sea salt spray should give us nice volume. Now we're gonna dry our hair. We're gonna blow dry it first, and then we're gonna check and see how it's gonna be look like. In in, uh, in between, when I'm gonna dry the hair, I will use the sea salt spray. But at the moment, the hair is quite wet, so I would love to dry a little bit and then use the sea salt afterwards to finish up. So half dry, we use the sea salt now, just to give that a little bit more volume. Now as you can see we reduce a little bit length from the front so to give a little bit more lightness and then the hair will get a little bit more volume through it. It's still quite long, it's not short at all, it's still quite long but it's very gradually going over the side there. As we can see it flops down and 
it's not big disconnection lines on our style so if we brush it down we can follow this lines here how soft it falls even if it's going to be messy looking and what that's what we get from this feathering blade that is scissors probably won't be making look the same and then feathering blade save us to use tennis scissors and any other scissors that will be make that kind of shape and point cuts and stuff like that so we basically save the time but you get the perfect result from it if we use a little bit product for this hair and most of it will be used product to use over these parts to, to bring them a little bit more flat and very little in the front so if i gonna use the goom goom is one of the right probably not too sticky quite soft but heavy product as well so run over the side there that's the way it sits in the back that's the way it looks over the side obviously you can brush it through over one way to see and check your side falls this direction the side falls other direction so basically this style kind of easy to grow longer but in the meantime even if it's wind or stuff like that you don't need to have very heavy product and can use any product for this hair but it's softer and messy it looks is better it's style looking <clears throat> so we go through there the back again as you can see you can take the gown so be easy to see and you can see the feathering going through as you can see all the feathers going through the back as well and it's not too heavy on the lower point so with this style easy can grow the hair longer and as longer will get is nicer will look so you can really give this another two months until the size will start bring it lower down so you just taper the neck only mm -hmm.